Peter Townsend from The Who had a simple question in the late 70s. Who are you? In this, my first quick hit edition of Reducing Friction with RunX, I will explore the who, 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 who. Hello, I'm Michael Blevins, the redhead known as RunX. And as you can tell, I'm not known for my singing. Jennifer Optum sent me a question regarding how to get the currently logged on user ID and an ASP.NET Core 2.1 application running on Azure Pack. For those of you that are not familiar with Azure Pack, it's a private cloud platform for Microsoft. Now that you have a high level detail, let's get on to answering the question. One way we can answer the who are you authentication question is with Windows authentication. I'm going to show how to use Windows authentication in an ASP.NET Core 2.1 application on Azure Pack, and then I'll discuss Active Directory options for directory services. Windows authentication can be added to an existing application or to a new one from the start. For this example, I'm starting fresh. There are three key pieces to make this work in Azure Pack. First, you need to make sure the web config has the forward Windows auth token set to true. Next, you need to ensure the deployment mode is self-contained and the target runtime is WinX64. Finally, configure the Windows authentication in Azure Pack Portal by selecting Require. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and begin. And to do so, I'm gonna click Create a New Project. We're gonna do ASP.NET Core Web Application. Give it a meaningful name. Okay, click Create. We want to ensure ASP.NET Core 2.1 is selected. I'm going to do a web application MVC. I'm going to change my authentication to Windows Auth. So this is one important piece here. I click OK. Click Create. I will right click. I'm going to add new item. I'm going to search for config, do a web config. The default is not what I want, so I'm going to remove all that. I already have what I want on my clipboard, which is ASP.NET Core and the piece that's important, forward Windows auth token equal true. So that's one very important piece there. Go ahead and save that. I'm going to right click and now I'm going to say publish. As part of the publish, I'm going to import a profile. I already have this on my desktop. I'm going to select it, open. So now that is imported, I'm going to select from the drop down my web deploy. I'm going to go in and make a change. That change is actually in my publish settings. And what I want to do is the second piece that's important, which is deployment mode needs to be set to self contained and the target one time is going to be win x64. I'm going to go ahead and click on save and I will publish this. Through movie magic, I'm going to have this publish happen behind the scenes and we'll move directly into the important piece in Azure Pack where we'll set the configuration. And here I've got my reducing friction with RunX Windows authentication site already set up. I'm going to go into configure and within configure, We'll notice the Windows authentication is set to off currently. I'm going to pop that over onto require. I'll go ahead and click save. And that has been updated. I can now go back and actually view the site itself. And with the site popped up, we'll see in the upper right hand corner, we've got the hello and my credential user ID. So that's what we get, that's what we want, and that's a success. Directory services has been a part of the .NET framework for years, and it's how developers have been able to get additional information from Active Directory. With Microsoft going all in on the .NET core being a cross-platform framework, directory services was missing from the start. Then Microsoft created the Windows compatibility pack for .NET core. 
The pack adds directory services, but it squashes the cross platform capabilities of .NET Core and really makes it target the Windows operating system. The pack is also pretty heavy in terms of the included dependencies in the NuGet package. There are pros and cons and using directory services in an application really needs to be considered on a project by project basis. Luckily, Jennifer Optum was able to leverage Windows Auth on Azure Pack but get her additional details from her database rather than Active Directory. This allowed her to keep her application truly cross-platform. Another option is the Novell library that is a port from Java to C-sharp. It's available as a NuGet package and I'll provide a link in the description below. The downfall to this is that you have to provide credentials on every request rather than allowing a Windows user credential to be passed through the library, but there is a positive, it is still cross-platform. I wanna share a couple thoughts about platforms, code, and Thanksgiving. For the platform side of things, Azure Pack is being replaced by Azure Stack, the next generation private cloud platform for Microsoft. This might not be an immediate concern, but in the private cloud space, Azure Stack is here, and with it comes changes in how authentication works. With code, newer versions bring slight changes. That is the case with ASP.NET Core 3.0 and how Windows authentication is set up. And lastly, since Thanksgiving is Thursday and I'm allergic to poultry, I'm thankful for ham. My last thought is that I might expand on the thoughts I've just shared in a future episode, excluding my thoughts on Turkey Day. I want to end this episode with a thank you for watching this quick hit and thank Jennifer for submitting the question that sparked this episode. If you are currently facing some friction, share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. You can always contact me at RunX on Twitter, LinkedIn, or GitHub, at the redhead known as RunX on Facebook, or my website, RunX.com. Watch for my next episode where I'm going to discuss Azure Key Vault, which is available on Azure and Azure Stack. Until next time, I'm Michael Blevins. So do you like the quick hit format? Is it something that really saved your life? <laughs> I doubt it, but hit the like, subscribe, something, I don't know.